Check, check. Oh man, I hope it's recording. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Suzak here, uh, your science teacher. I am so glad you're here. And if you're one of my full-time remote learners, uh, I want to uh, you know, go over our lesson from Tuesday in case you weren't able to tune in or you needed some help, right? Because chemistry is something new, right? This is kind of a brand new topic for most of you. Maybe you've had little bits and pieces here and there. But this is going to be brand new, so I'm going to help guide you, guide you through it uh, today. Okay, so chemistry. What is it? That's a good place. That's a good place to start, right? Hmm. Let's find out. All right. So, chemistry. Okay, is the study of matter. All right. But actually, I've got to scroll up a little bit. I was actually down. Here we go. There we are. All right. It is a branch of. Well, yes, it is a branch of science. So more particularly, okay, it is a branch of physical. That really big physical science, okay? So we have physical, okay, but we also have another one is life science, okay? So life science and physical science, kind of like our two main, our two big players here, okay? Um, so I'm gonna actually throw a uh, couple on screen here in just a moment, okay, and we'll kind of compare the two life science and physical science. Well, what is a physical? Science, right? Physical, you're probably thinking, man, I have to get one of those at the doctor every year. Man, I don't like those. Okay, or physical, you're thinking physical activity. Right? But when we talk about a physical science, okay, you can kind of just draw uh, maybe a little line. You can put a little little arrow here, okay? By physical, okay, it is the study of inanimate natural objects, right? Natural, because hey, we're talking about science class, right? So natural things, okay? but inanimate. Now what does that mean? It means not living. It's the fancy word. So you want to sound smart, say, hey, look at that, uh, there's that, look at that, there's some roadkill on the, on the road, look at that dead little uh, raccoon. It's like, hey, it's inanimate, all right? Sound fancy, it sounds smart. All right, so inanimate, non-living things, right? Life science, okay. it's not the study of cereal. Okay, it's not the study of the board game, but living things. Okay, so life science. So there's a difference. So non-living, dead things, but things that are natural. So for example, um, uh, I'll give you an example here, but then I'm going to have you do some on your own. So an example of a life science would be biology. Bio means life. Ology means the study of. So the study of life, right? So living things. That's kind of an obvious example, right? But how about, let's go with... We know that chemistry is a physical science, but how about if I said geology? Now, geology is the study of rocks, okay? The study of the earth, okay, and uh, as a whole. So that would be a physical science, right? Physical, because we're studying the earth. The earth's not living, okay? Uh, but it is made up of natural objects, right? So that's a physical science. So I'm gonna, I'll probably have a couple appear on the uh, screen here, and then you'll be able to uh, tell me if they are in your head, if they're physical. Or, it's, uh, or if it's a life science. Okay. So we're working with a physical science that studies the what, okay? We're studying the properties and reactions, okay? And reactions of matter. Properties and reactions of matter, okay? Now properties, if you don't, to help you kind of get a better sense of that word, if you want to put underneath it, characteristics that works as well just so you have a better idea like well what do properties mean because when you think of property you probably think hey I own this market right? I own this this is my house this is my car okay you think property but characteristics things about it right and reaction I think that one makes sense right reactions kind of like chemistry everyone thinks explosions right so uh, and it's the study of matter if I had to put it lightly in one word chemistry matter. It's the study of matter. Okay. Now you might be asking right now, well, hey, Suzek, what's matter? Oh, well, let me, you know what, that's so nice of you to ask. Thank you for caring. Thanks for asking me what's the matter. But nothing's wrong. I feel really good today, but thank you. Thanks for asking. Bad Suzek jokes. You'll get used to them. All right. So what is matter? Okay. Matter. Anything that has mass. Mass. And takes up space. 
something that has a mass and takes up space. So okay, matter. This mass though. What is what is what is oh man, my screen just no. That's must be a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, first video. Gotta make sure I keep my computer awake. It's falling asleep. I hope you're not falling asleep at home. Oh please stay awake, hit the pause button, take a quick nap and come back, okay? My computer is a bad example. All right. Uh, let me just make sure it's still recording, actually. All right, I haven't, iPad hasn't died yet, so we're good, okay? Anything that has mass and takes up space. So mass, here's how we can think about, because you're probably thinking now, like, what's mass? What is that? You might think, oh, hey, it's a church service. I go to mass. Or you might be thinking, man, nah, like, that's, you're not wrong. But a little bit different here in science, okay? Uh, for mass, here's how I think about it. I think M-A, oh, green marker, dead. Everything's just dying around here, folks. Again. Maybe it's because we're talking about an inanimate, you know, physical science, right? Study of inanimate objects, dead, non-living things. Must be the case. All right. M-A. M-A. Matter. M-A, right? I want you to draw a little line. Matter. S-S. Underline. It could stand for Super Suzek or Silly Suzek, okay? But it's not. I want you to think... Smashed stuff. Boom. S S smash stuff. Okay, because that's what that's what mass, that's what it is. It's the amount of matter stuffed into an object or into something. That's how you can think about it. Okay, so if you want to write that down, we can write that down here. Mass. The amount. of matter, I'm going to write in quotation, stuff. It's not a good word to use, but that's how we can think of matter. Stuff into an object. Okay, that's, what, that's, what mass, that's what mass is. So it's a little bit different than weight, okay? They are different, okay? Uh, mass uh, will always stay the same, but weight changes. So there we have mass, right? And takes up space, right? AK, another word for that is volume, okay? Sorry, what was that? Volume? Volume? Volume! Uh, bad, bad puns. All right. Takes up space, AK, volume, all right? Uh, let me erase. Let me erase here. So hopefully, again, you can pause this screen at any time if you need, uh, need something. But let me erase what we have here. So let's go. scroll down a little bit. So we have four states of matter, all right? Four states. And you might be thinking right now, okay, you might, these might be familiar to you, and I hope they are. Right? But if not, we're going to jot them down here, okay? So we have solids, liquids, gases, and we have plasma. That's an S there, if that can't be seen. So these are just ways that matter exists. It exists in these different forms, okay? Um, yeah, probably very familiar with solids, liquids, gases. Uh, plasma can also be seen in like neon signs, okay, kind of used for that, but also a lot of celestial bodies, okay, like, um, like stars, okay, have this plasma extremely, extremely high. Uh, so we have these four uh, states. And we also have four... You know, I'm gonna get you ready for U.S. cultures. We got four states here. All right. You might know it as Pennsylvania, okay? But it's no longer Pennsylvania. We now live in Plasma, Plasmavania. Write it down, Plasmavania. Beautiful state. I wish it were hot all the time, like plat. Well, not as hot as plasma, but I wish it were warm for 12 months out of the year. Uh-oh. Louisiana here. Uh-oh. AKA Liquidiana. Okay, Liquidiana. You can write it in the state. Hopefully this is still in screen. Liquid. Deanna. Let me see if it's still in the screen. Oh, it's not. I'm going to go down slightly there. All right. Good check. South Carolina. Maybe some of you have been there before. AKA, it's no longer South Carolina. It is solid. Carolina. 
the a state of matter, okay? In Georgia, this one doesn't sound good no matter where you put it, okay? If you want to put gas gia, doesn't sound too pretty, all right? The name kind of stinks. Get my drift, all right? Or you could do George gas. Again, I don't know. That one just can't sound good. The other ones, say, hey, they're pretty solid, right? Um, so we have these different states, okay, that matter can exist in. Uh, and it's important to note what makes the state, what, what makes you switch states, okay? Think about you. If you want to go to a different state, okay, let's take a trip to Colorado, all right? Hey, you got to get there by plane, okay? You're going to fly or you're going to take a car, right? A car requires fuel, requires gas, right? A plane needs jet fuel, okay? They need energy, all right? That is how matter switches states. Energy, 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 energy. That's how it switches states, okay? Uh, we did a few activities in class as well, um, but I hope that this just gives you like a general run through of this uh, handout here and a little introduction to, to chemistry, okay? Um, again, just to put a concept, let me put the mass concept because these can be, these can be new, uh, new topics, all right? Um, so again, with regards to so chemistry, we're studying matter. Right? And you might be thinking, well, man, why, why, does chemi why, why does chemistry matter in the first place? It's a very important science, right? And you know, many, many of the things that you do on a daily basis require chemistry, or chemistry is involved in some way, shape, or form. So it's really important, okay? Um, I want to just show, maybe just give you an, uh, an idea of what mass is again, just so, because this can be kind of an abstract concept. I want to make it concrete, all right? So speaking of something that's hard like concrete, I got this rock here, okay? I got this rock, this little paperweight that a former student got me, all right? And I got this Oreo. Sorry, it's not a real Oreo. It's a plastic Oreo, okay? Which one has more mass, okay? This rock, all right? It has, you know, these atoms and molecules packed in here. Wool of these atoms, you know, this, this mass, you know, we're going to talk about that um, soon in a later lesson, okay? Atoms, molecules, okay? That's this stuff that I was referring to, okay, for matter, okay? But there is more packed into this rock, all right, than this Oreo. Here's why. This Oreo is kind of hollow, all right? The inside it's plastic. It's hollow on the inside. It's just, it's got some, there's some air, you know, some different air, you know, molecules in here. But for this rock, the salt, you know, it is a salt. This thing would hurt, okay? And there are so many atoms packed into this rock, and they are tight. It's like sardines, okay? Or it's like you had a baseball game, or it's like you, um, you know, in the school hallways when the bell rings, right? They are just packed in there. But here, there's just not a lot, right? There's just not a lot. It's just the, these air molecules, right? So this rock would have more mass than an Oreo, okay? Um, I hope that, that kind of helps to clear things up a little bit. All right, so here's the rundown with the notes. Um, I hope uh, it helps. Uh, there's also a way that solids, uh, liquids, and gases behave. And actually, I will show. Uh, I want to show a quick. Um, I'm going to show you out of the textbook real quick how what these look like, so that you can provide a visual. Okay. Here's the. Uh, here's a little visual. Okay, that I want to show you all. Okay. Here's how we can think of solids, liquids, and gases, okay? So right on the left, we see the solids, right? They're all packed together, okay? And they're not moving very fast. You can think solids, S, move slow, S, okay? So they're all packed in tight. In the uh, middle there, we see our liquids, right? They're a little bit more free-flowing. That's why it feels, uh, you know, when you jump into a pool, it doesn't hurt like it does jumping into, uh, on, jumping through a desk, right? Wow, that would hurt because they're all packed together, right? It's all close. All the, um, the atoms there are packed in so tightly, all right? Uh, but the liquid, they're a little bit more spread out, right? They're a little bit more forgiving. And here, we got our gas on the right-hand side, all right? They are all over the place. They are crazy, right? And they are, uh, yeah, there is no kind of shape or order, order to them, right? So they, um, so there's a little, just kind of a little a visual picture, okay, for our solids, liquids, and gases. Again, I hope this video helps. Just a little intro uh, video to chemistry and math. Right. Hope you all have a blessed day.